Hi guys, welcome to a, um, what are we doing? Oh, updates, alpha updates. So it's Saturday morning. I didn't get this out on the Friday. Um, I was obviously behind in the week. So next week, Grape Gaming Day, I've got Knife Fork Spoon, DeFi Land, and The Remnants. So this is a packed week for us at Grape um, for the show for Grape Gaming Day. So I'm going to make these shows now fortnightly, so every two weeks. I'm trying to make sure I do a lot of things in this space. I absolutely love these um, these sessions and DeFi Land, Remnants, Knife Fork Spoon are rebranding their Spoonverse. So they've got a lot of information and updates for us as well. But obviously, two very big games that are building out. DeFi Land just keep kicking goals in their announcements going forward. And the Remnants just had a whitelist event. Um, no longer can you do it. Of course, you should have been following the space. Um, it's got, I think, uh, another 24 hours or 48 hours before the whitelists are fully handed out. So we'll look at that when I get up to my um, my thing there. So great work. Thank you, Ridho, for the um, the artwork in here. Jogging with Barn Dog five days a week on Step End Discord, 8.30 a.m. my time, normally an hour to two hours every day. Um, just helping people from new questions to, to big questions to in detail. Obviously, this one. This is funny. We've got emails out today. Booked out event. Um, meant to be 300 people. If you do need to get booking into this, you are a local in Australia, whether you're flying across, hit me up in the Step End Discord if you need to, or get a hold of me in the Great Protocol Discord, and um, I will try to make something happen there. So we had over 300 sign up. We obviously have a, a venue appropriate for that. But of course, there were some people that signed up to that, not knowing, not not being locals, not being in Australia. So I've got the code, of course. I won't link it on today's, but um, you can see my sneaker rack. I took this just to show people we've got the Binance thing going on, and I'll get to that slide. I've been an ASICS man for the last probably 15 years, mainly based around my feet and my requirements. So how does this go into... Um, the step in and all of that kind of stuff. I'm not a sneaker expert. When I want to find a sneaker, I go in and I get fitted professionally. It's important to look after your body. I'm a 42-year-old. I'm now running anything up to 15Ks a day. Now, I've found the Gel Nimbus 24s. They're my favorite. Um, I've got some older sneakers. You can see these are busted out. These are when it's piss and rain and I just want to walk on the oval. These ones here are getting a bit grotty as well. Um, but these Nimbus and the Kinzai's, I'm using those for road running only. And um, I don't like how the Kinzai's pitch my feet in uh, on, the, on the right foot. It pitches it in for some reason, but the Nimbus, they're cushions. They're great. So I will try the carbon fibers when we get up to it. I announced something today, a 10,000 follower giveaway. Now I'm at 12,000 or something like this. And it's not that I need it to go out to pump my socials or anything like that. I genuinely love what I'm doing. I do some great work with not just Step N, with a whole lot of games. Um, but of course, Step N have, have grown in this space and people still misunderstand the game and it's awesome to be able to help people. But for the people following in, a chance to um, comment, like, retweet, all those things. And six winning prizes, one person getting five Solana, five people getting one Solana each. So that will affect bump up numbers and stuff like that. But I need to pull my finger out, get a couple of extra strategy videos out this week. You can see my Twitter going nuts. Um, Vinny Vincent with the shields on, that is going now, just the uh, one per week. And I think that's good. He does a really great magazine. This one had 80 or 90 pages. We looked at that the other day. Um, what have we got in the way of coin pricing? Bitcoin Solana sitting at about the standard. It isn't a 40K, so that went up to 44 or something like that. Um, Step in GMT, that's following pretty much sideways when you think about it for the last kind of week now there was big announcements on the gmt coin of course uh the use cases last week at the ama tonight it's saturday i'm doing this recording uh i expect we'll find out more about maybe the events for april because we've got things like um the triple earnings still hanging over our heads and we've got the easter event which we've got a little bit of alpha from on the binance um live ama i'll talk about that when i get to it Rory's come down pretty heavy in the last week. Audio's going up. Well done, Audius. I love that. I listen to it all day through DeFi land. 
Geno pets, nothing, nothing really big. What happened here? Spawn. Um, they didn't have any major announcements spawn, so I don't know why that's gone. It looks like it's gone parabolic, but it's just gone from you know twenty percent of a coin to forty percent of a cent, I should say. Um, do 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 solo coin. They've launched a new trading platform, and we'll get to that. I've got a little slide for that. What am I looking at here? Someone showed me this. Um, a shade just sold for 18 Solana, I think it was, and that was a one of one. So the floor's moving. Let's have a look at the activity, though. Why is the activity going big? Do, 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 do. What have we got? Good trading volume, right? Looks like an hour, two hours ago, someone's bought out the floor. Very, very good trading volume. Now, something else I was looking at this week, which... It's funny because I'm not looking at a lot of NFTs at the moment. I'm concentrating on the games I'm in. Obviously, I'm heavy in step in and I'm really getting my gems and strategies there. But um, I looked at portals this week and they were at a really cool buy-in. You can see here in the 40s, right? 46, 46, 47. I was looking at them yesterday in the 40s. And um, what are they at at the moment? 60. So it's really interesting seeing with some announcements and that always... If you, if you are following projects, these guys have just done a lot of their card drops, their, their access cards and their community cards. I saw one was selling for 0.6. Now, gaming track, the hackathon has finished. So Riptide, the gaming track was an interesting one because it was following games that were, could potentially partner up with portals. So it's going to have things that are more portal centric because they were putting up some prize and they were judging. So first place, Strange Mood, a decentralized gaming platform and marketplace that allows users to build their own storefronts, securing a prize. So you can see why that ties in with portals, right? Um, so that's it's not a good or a bad thing. Someone's got to judge these. Someone's got to put them out. And portals is probably, in my opinion, the biggest metaverse still in Solana. Not metaverse. Metaverse? Yeah, probably the biggest one that's there at the moment. Rogue Star hits second. Well fucking done, Rogue Star, um, to me boy, King Lord, and you know, like to the team, they've been working hard. They're building on Unity. They've got gameplay. They've got a multiplayer gameplay combat demo. They've got game testers and that. And I'm really fucking proud to uh, have had them on stage three or four times now. Love the guys and want to see what they're doing. Soul Race Drive to Earn Racing Game. Let's click on it. Let's have a look. Hey, Laddercast, the NFT based strategy game, NFT powered poker community bad beat. Poker's very followed in, I don't know, Solantasy. So Solantasy's been, oh yeah, yeah, I know Solantasy. They've they've launched recently. Um, racing game aiming to introduce the concept of drive to earn, aka DTE, to races. The theme and ideas inspired by Mario Kart, open the world's most favorite childhood game, but instead of bringing Kart to world, we believe Destin, blah, blah, blah. We do, 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 do. All right, where is it? Presentation link. Let's have a look. Oh, you've got to download it. PDF hackathon. I like it. I haven't gone through a lot of these detailed searches. Like a lot of the games, because last year, the hackathons, the things like Ignition and all of that, I was studying heavily. At this time, I haven't got a chance to actually look deep. I'm going to leave that out. I'm actually going to put that on another screen and have a look at it later. Um, so that was Soul Race. Poker doesn't interest me. There's lots of card games building. I don't know any of these games, bar Solantasy. Um, would I get into Solantasy from what I've seen so far? No, that, that's all. And why? Go and have a look. Um, now, this was a AMA with... <laughs> have a look at this. What's good, everybody? And my makeshift tripod. I'm Gabe from Rogue Star. Gabe from Rogue Star. Oh my god! I wonder if that's a beer, Gabe. You look like a stoner, dude, and you want gamers building games. So I love Rogue Star. This was a really, really good video to watch. Six and a half minutes. It talks about where the game's at. Shows you gameplay. Um, shows you the multiplayer. Talks about their updates and the Star launch. Really, really worthwhile watching. Uh, the boys over at Gyrus, how are they going? 1,600 out of their mint. Now, we had them in at my last great gaming day, and Adam's always awesome and passionate. Um, I'm, I'm following this one. I've got my five. I'll mint the next one. You see, Ogs, this is going to be for their mini game. 
Um, they've got more artist work in the Discord. You can go and see about how it generates and does. These have very strong Aussie Papua New Guinea feelings to them. I wonder whether they wanted to do wombat mixtures and stuff. like that. They just look like beefy wombats to me, and I fucking love that. So this is an Aussie team. Uh, they've got world-renowned artists. They are building, hopefully, this quarter for the minigame. Let's have a look at a little bit more at Step N. <laughs> I look at sneakers for so much of my day, both in my own game with my friends in other discords, and it's been a changer. So they did this ASICS uh, launch with Binance on Binance, 0 0.5 per ticket. Uh, it's still in the preparation. You've got to log in. I was logged in before. I only had three of my 17 or 18 Binance accepted because I had some stake. That's my own fault. Um, I want to go and buy a pair of these on the secondary, no matter what, because I showed you the photo before. I've been an ASICS man since the life. So how is this going to work being on Binance? I don't know whether you'll be able to sw swap the sneakers into the game immediately, um, but the plan is, is that you stake your Solana, you stake your Binance sneakers, and they join to become the one vault. So if you've got eight on Solana and you've got a pair of ASICs, on uh, the Binance platform, that would then make your vault of nine, get you nine energy. But these sneakers, um, you had a chance, there's a thousand, 15% of them uncommon. So that is massive. I think these will go absolutely bananas, um, not financial advice. Obviously, it's in preparation stage for so the snapshots being taken. Um, you'll pay half a ticket, half a Binance to get a ticket. If you're lucky enough to get that ticket, so that would mean it's $210 or something. So that is very, very cheap. Um, do not underestimate how well they will go. Coindesk, um, this was a bit of an article done and it talked to, they, they talked to Dean from Great Protocol. Um, why are we doing a five kilometer race during the Athens Dow? We're aiming to do this on the 28th. I'm trying to research and do help and get, if anybody knows any, running clubs in um, Athens, please hit me up immediately. You can get a hold of me on both the Step In, uh, on my Twitter. You can get a hold of me at Grape, any of those. Obviously, I've got Tacky's really, really helping hardcore with this. Um, I can't speak Greek, so it's a matter of I've sent out messages to a couple of the clubs, but obviously we need that club. Why are we doing five kilometers? These will be a few of the live events we do at the start. Four Step In will be live events and five kilometers because you can have people walking jogging or running we're not going to make them you're only running and it's going to be a race it's going to be participation which is like the game it's a move to earn at your speed you can walk jog or run in the game anywhere from one to 20 kilometers an hour so you can be at different fitness levels different health levels different stages of your life and you can play step in and we're going to make these live events at the start based on that activity so that was a good article to read from coindesk i'll link that down below um i've now registered for binance live so Binance Live is a Web 3.0 platform, a way that they have all these people go in, and I'm going to do a weekly stream. Um, I'll be aiming to do Thursdays, um, my morning. So that's going to be a good US um, and Australian time. So it'll be an Australian morning, a US uh, Wednesday night time. Um, and I'm going to hold that slot once a week to start off with. But my aim is because Step N is going multi-chain, my aim is to help educate the people on Binance. And I can do that via the live platform. So obviously I've been registered. I've got my rights to do that. And I'll build up videos and hopefully link people into my YouTube and all those kinds of things. I love what I do for the game. I love um, putting my strategies out. I don't do mooning videos. I don't do that stuff. I do the strategies on how to play the game and get your best out of the game. The boys at Metagates, they were at the, um, at the Riptide Hackathon. I don't think they placed in, in a mention, but they are building. They've had big updates. They're doing their poo burnings for their shards. Make sure you get in if you are following it. Um, and just on that, I don't vote for any of the projects on the hackathons. I've, I've made a stance on that. I follow these games. Um, I own some some poos for Metagates. I'll be playing Metagates. I love the team. Same as, uh, obviously, I've talked about... Um, Rogue Star, I love the team from there. I'll be minting in there. I've got a whitelist toast. I'll be I'll be minting multiples. Um, so you know, like I, I choose not to vote. I don't want to skew people's favors. But if you watch any of my videos, you'll see who I am following. Photo Finish put out an extended detail for this, so they've extended till the April twenty seventh. So that's eleven days left to breed 
Um, make sure you've got that shit worked out. Great syndicate. We sold our stud, a strategy we were doing, um, and bought different assets to get us our crown for future payment. Loot. So loot. What am I doing? Loot dot crypto straps. So crypto straps, obviously we know this is the NFT. You've got the big gun. Um, you can interchange, had five parts. They dropped this loot box for the people that minted. Um, and that turned into this NFT. No, not that NFT. Where is it? It was a grenade. Um, so what did I have for that? Let's have a quick look. Do, 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 do. Apologies. I thought I had that screen loaded, loading it up now. Um, so that loaded into like grenades, I believe it is. So you need 2,000 or 2,500 ammo to actually um, open that. So this is a use case for their for their ammo token. Now, they've talked about how they're going to be helping another game, another first-person shooter. Another game is leading that up. It's got its own production team. Um, but they'll use the ammo token. There's, there's actually starting to get quite a few use cases for this token. So I loaded up my staking because I, I just, I've staked it, right? I've staked a little bit of Solana there. I, I'm watching this space, not not actively. I don't come in here and claim it, but two and a half thousand, they've now loaded a liquidity pool on uh, Radium, which is super important. You can see that two and a half thousand that I've loaded up has gotten me now 0.3 worth of um, crypto straps of uh, 0.3 Solana. Do, 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 do. Crypto straps. So let's when you go to this, it should load up two screens. The nades. So the grenades are part of the NFT drop, and you can actually see there's loot boxes unopened here, people trying to sell them, and then people trying to sell the grenades. So there must be different rarities if people are selling them for different prices. Have they traded? They've traded 150 volume. So that would be 600 um, trades, you would imagine. So that is good to know. But what was funny is when I go on these tangents and I look at them, it's it's when I actually go back and I look at the NFT prices and you go, how's the actual project going? And it's selling really poorly, right? 2.18 Solana. So it was a floor of four when it launched. Um, they cut the price down on the NFT. It went up 10 and it's back down to two. Um, is it moving four hours ago, nine hours ago? So that shows me looking at that, even though it's low, it's it's still trading. So people are maybe buying might buying more on the floor. Is that the new floor? I don't know. Would I buy more? Probably not. I've got my one. Um, it looks like some of those guns are pretty boring, but you can see the rarities on them. Okay. You, you know, Magic Eaton put the rarities up on things a while ago. I'm still looking at DeFi land. Obviously, I don't have my cows and chooks yet, so I need to buy some cows and some chickens. Uh, 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 um, what do we got here? Sovana put up a uh, poll because Sovana run a three coin system and it was for the three different, um, not tribes, the three different factions in the game. Um, the DGens, the Oracles and the Guardians, of course, go the Guardians. Um, but obviously making one token will simplify the process. Uh, we've seen that and they had a vote on chain. I've loaded up, but uh, I can't make the vote. They've, they've said on as an announcement that you can't do it at the moment. But this token, Solo Fox, so I wonder whether this is linked to the Solo Fox game, and maybe that's why it's caused the price to go up. There was a couple of reasons I, I linked this out. Who was going to launch on here? I think Kaiju cards are going to be putting their gem token on here for trade. Uh, so we're starting to see new DEXs come out. Solo Fox was a game first and foremost, but they've put a utility out. Lots and lots of decks is coming out. Be careful when you use them. DeFi Land, why did I have them here? I had them here because they announced um, you're going to be able to change your shooting gun 86. You're going to be able to spend DFL token, and you're going to be able to rename that gun to Crusader Irwin 86. So I wonder whether the hashtag 86 is always there, maybe showing the number, but you're able to rename your NFTs in the game. That's going live soon and another use case for that. Now, what have I got to finish it off? More cows. All right, let's, um, let's come across here, drag across my other screen. Click, click. Like I said, every day I come in here, I click on me things through the day while I'm loading out. I did my farm yesterday, I think. 
Um, I've got I've got two dogs and a cat. Um, I've got does it show them all in there? Obviously my gun. Oh, there's me cat. I love the cat. You can get some really cool like hello Clarice. They've got um they've got welders and stuff as well. I think my harvester's got some rare things on it. But um yeah, I mean DeFi land, they're they're punching numbers. They they are building. These games are building out. It is a very basic game still, but the mini games get better. We saw the shooting game looks amazing. Like the the the, the views of it. Obviously, we haven't seen the the actual game, but um, it looks good. So I've got my two dogs and cat. You meant to send them away. They bring you back patterns. They bring you back some coin, um, and I think they bring you back some gold, which is going to be their secondary token. Remnants just did their their launch. And it was it wasn't bad. Um, so I've I've gone back to the radiation zone because I'm trying to hunt down uh, a megalite metal detector and a banana. Not much chance. Now remember, going into the radiation zone uses two uh, two keys. But I'm working on the theory that they're getting rid of the keys at some stage, and they're also bringing in an energy system. So you can also buy keys from the locksmith. Um, Twenty two can gets you one key. So. I'm still, I don't know what to do now. Like, I actually went and farmed out my level three survival guide. That gives you income 18% and it reduces the speed by 18%. I'm tempted to almost go and get another book, but make it level two. So to get the book, I actually went to the farm. Yes. So it was the farm. The reason I went to the farm, you've got a 3% chance at getting it from the farm. And I've got two more and did my upgrade. But with your with your equipment in here, you can actually use um, a level three item and a level two item and a level one item if you find it. So you could actually start sending out multiple trips with that to get more income. So I could go and get a level two book and have another 16% income. So giving yourself a loot chance that gives that gives you a chance at loot and also infection chance. But if I need to make more gold, it would make sense to equip two books, wouldn't it? Go on that. Um, and of course, trip time and loot chance. Your trolleys is just beefcake. I was so lucky. But this is the whitelist access. Some people haven't got it in game. They're aware of that. Um, and that was from looting the Longwood Mines. And you can see trip duration, 50 hours, whitelist token, 100%. Obviously, I'm not going back. I've done it. I've done my one. You get one per account. Um, and that saw the, the NFTs go up to 21, 22 Solana. They're still sat there, even though people have likely taken their whitelist tokens. Um, where do we go from that? Strategy, like this is actually an interesting game. I'm having fun with it. And I am thinking of, like I said, going back to the farm to hunt down more books because I got them pretty quickly from there with that 3% chance. I am really loving this makeup, but if I go and do, you know, if I might want to go and get more books so I can then go back to the radiation zone more often overnight or, or during the day, two hours on there and I'll buy more coins. But um, Anatoly the Cat, they've now done their update. I like Anatoly. It's been one of these card games. Why do I like Anatoly? I talked with Nikos from the team, Greek man. He is absolutely awesome. And when I talk to some of these games and actually have a chat to them, they are real people. And this this brings me into the game. I played the draft today. Uh, it takes a bit of time, so I won't do it now. I won one, lost one, and it was uh, Nikos was actually online at the time. We had a bit of a chat. And I you know gave my first reactions to it. You can see here, um, Kaiju. I'm still locked out of my Kaiju questing at the moment. Um, this has happened to quite a few people. They've got the 2.0 updates coming soon. And that will allow you to find your NFTs, basically. So even if you click on here, I'm not logged in at the moment. I've checked this morning. Um, rarities, that's for DeFi land. What are we looking at here? GMT, $2.30. The price of GST has been an interesting one. So you could see I monitor this shit all day long because I play the game. My partner plays the game. All my mates play the game. I've got family and friends that play the game, and I like to give good information. So this went up to $5.20 even after it dumped down to like four dollars twenty but it went back up the other way to five dollars twenty and it's eased back to four dollars fifty where do i think it's going to sit from here i've got no idea i don't cash my tokens out um i convert my gst to solana sometimes maybe buy different games or buy gems work my strategies how am i playing in the game at the moment um i am working on mainly efficiency earning uh, my rares hurt me this week 
Um, they they cut me deep. I copped. I kept getting mystery boxes, level four mystery boxes with three gem, le, three level one gems in them. So it wasn't worthwhile using those. Now I can't respect those sneakers until we get the new event, but um, the new uh, event being. Um, do do do. What are we looking at for the new event? Where am I going? The new event is the opening GMT, of course, GMT usage. Once we get GMT usage in, in Step N, we will be able to respec our sneakers and then reuse and recategorize what we do with our sneakers. So some of us are holding on to sneakers that we might have leveled up to 28. I leveled up my uncommons to 30. So I've got a pretty wicked pair of uncommons, but I've got points in comfort and points in luck that don't make them a viable sneaker. Um, so that's cool. I don't mind that. I love the game. I'm having fun with it. Having fun with a whole lot of games. Very much look forward to this um, great gaming day every time I do them. We had three great games last week. This week, like I said, we've got Knife Fork Spoon. They're rebranding. Their um, Spoonverse is now going to be called Game Hub. Um, we'll talk about the rebranding and what they're bringing out. They're going through tokenomics and, and that kind of stuff now at the moment. DeFi Land, they've got shitloads coming up. And Remnants, we'll have Juice back from Remnants and have a good yarn about that. So last time he came into Grape, it was uh, like 4 a.m. his time because he's U.S. bound. So this this show, of course, Great Gaming Day is great for American time zones. It's their Monday night. But uh, as always, hope I've helped. Hope I've given you guys a bit of a laugh. And uh, thank you, Mother, for the rabbits.